Can you even claim to not sit to piss uh, if you don't tap sh the fucking impact? You don't need to worry about fucking breaking your Canadian tire fucking impact bits off or taps. Oh f yeah, bud. Can you imagine how long it's would have taken to do by hand? Too bad the old lady couldn't say the same thing about me, eh? Uh, f yeah, those are just mint. Yeah, and I can fucking unfuck up all these drill that I chowdered trying to drill those holes. Meat. All right, well we better start this job off right. Oh, plastic bags, all that. Shit. There's some fucking engine oil in there. Starting her off right with a hard. How dare you? Oh yeah. Oh, it loves it. The climate. The climate. The ocean will rise one hundredth of one percent over the next three hundred in years how dare you Meet. Alrighty. well a few years back you know when the men were brave and the women were bold and well willard you hadn't been microwaved yet i ran into this uh this old broad and uh well rather than telling me she showed me and she showed me that well you ain't had a hummer until you had a gummer you can use a little teeth but you don't want to be a bite so as I sat back on her plastic covered couch with uh, the golden girls playing in the background, she yanked her fucking teeth out of her head and, well, showed me that a gummer is the fucking name brand Hummer. I had an awesome time. Cause there ain't nothing softer on a feller's fucking hammer handle than something that ain't got any teeth in it. So you're sitting at home wondering, Peg, what in the sweet f does getting a Hummer from fucking Betty White have f all to do with this shit? Well, that thought was running through my greasy fucked up head while I was trying to grab on the logs with this fucking dirty old home fucking built grapple bucket that I got for old Skitty here. She ain't got no fucking teeth on her and she's not very good at fucking biting the wood if you know what I'm saying. And much like my fucking self, well we're running fucking short on wood. This is all we got left. So what I do with old Skitty, use your imagination here that this is a dirty old log. What I do is I drive in a bush, grab onto the fucker and then back up. Well the old clamping power on the dirty old skid steer's fucking uh, teeth there just ain't enough and it usually slips out of her fucking teeth and then I gotta get out and choke it or fiddle fuck around with it and the next thing you know I'm outside fucking working instead of sitting in there drinking fucking beer and that's no fucking bueno so what I'm gonna do is I had a gander at this fucking thing Part that. <laughs> look at that look at that yeah look at that there used to be a big dirty hydraulic ram in here hooked up to these guys and uh she used to bite down with one single little ram <laughs> With the clamping edge there, whatever the f you want to call it, the grapple edge. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's weaker than f So, I've seen that this thing was welded off to the side a little bit. So what I got and done, I went to the f***ing hydraulic shop in town. Resource, minty as f Got some lines built up. Went over to dirty old Princess Auto, grabbed another ram. And I figured two's better than one. So what that's gonna do is give her all kinds of biting force. What for grabbing onto logs? Well, I know what you're saying. Why don't you go on the old Richie Bros auction and buy yourself a grapple bucket? Buy another one, you rich mother Well, I'm not exactly shitting $100 bills here, so I gotta build my own for sakes. And I already got this. Just a greasy old home-built pile of fuckery. So I ain't got a load of money, but I do have a load of scrap steel, a couple of rams, a couple of hydraulic hoses, and I reckon this is gonna make her fucking mint. She's gonna have twice the clamping force, and hopefully this fucking thing, it goes a little slower. Cause as she sits right meow when you hit the go pedal for the auxiliary hydraulics, she just fucking slams like a greasy old rat trap. So that being said, having two rams gonna be twice the fucking oil capacity. So it should slow them down just a little bit. So I got them kind of half-assed evenly spaced there. So all I'm gonna do is put a 
fucking brace on this side and uh, fill that gap in. A brace on this side, fill that gap in, and color fucking mint. All right, well, we got some fucking uh, steel all half ass marked out here. Let's fucking just gouge this fucking thing out with the, uh, with the torch. And uh, I don't know how to fuck we can get her on there so she's right lined up, but uh, we're just gonna fiddle fuck her in the spot and fill the hole for the weld. Oh, yeah, the old blue tip wrench. Yes. Up. It's probably gonna light a bunch of fucking flammable shit onto the da onto the uh, the bench on fire, but I mean that's later problems. Now, what have you learned to do in case of fire? Don't shout fire. No. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh look at the safety holding that thing up, man. See, I told you there's a bunch of flammable shit under the fucking bench. Well, that's the one good thing about living in a snowbank is you can always cool down your welding projects in wicked time. Oh fuck yeah, bud. All right, well, meow that it looks like some hung over half and cut apprentice. Went and cut the fuck out of that thing off with a torch with a shit tip. I'm gonna go ahead and just round off the edges, meow. Alrighty here, so meow, stick that fucker in like so. Hey, you don't want to use exact measurements here, eh? 5,001 cunt hairs there, and about the same down there. But we're gonna space up the top first, and then let that kind of do its thing, and then we'll just fucking dial in the bottom. <laughs> All right, so while I was in town there, the options were buy a whole load of bolts that were the kind of same right length, or just buy a chunk of round stock one inch that'll fit fucking mint with a little bit of welding. So you don't want to spend a fortune on fucking bolts. I bought this little piece of steel. That wasn't fucking cheap either. Everything's fucking expensive these days. All right, well, we got that strategically pinned up there with the old fucking Kresge. Oh, and I'll just slide her home. And get her at the circle. Because it's a circle. Oh, yeah. Fucking mint. And the best thing about this setup is whoever built these things wallered the fuck out of the holes so you know the bar set pretty low for as, as far as precision goes and I, and I like that all right well now it's time to fire up the old welder that was built right next door to the place that manufactured the last coal that we've been dealing with for the last two and a half years and just buzz this fucker in there oh yeah it looks nice Alrighty, well that went down near to plan. She's all dialed in there. Down here, she's uh, well I didn't even plan for that, but she's shimmed right up mint. Now all I gotta do is build a plate for this side and fucking weld that in. This is gonna go a lot fucking quicker than I thought it was gonna. Now I know how the old lady feels. Oh, I was just rocking a pair of the uh, brand new scissor that I found at the dump. I don't know, I think someone's doing hot knife with them or something like that, but it still worked. But anyhow, a lot of people were asking me, uh, Peg, how the you uh wear your camera on your head well i grabbed one of these things for the fucking uh gopro holder or whatever it's one of the amazon ones it's cheap as fuck. and go ahead and just clip this fucking thing right into it and uh wear the fucking thing on my head works mint and it was pretty uh pretty cheap because i mean we run nothing but the finest shit around here all right just cut this bastard out mock it up on that piece of steel and then do a real fucking shitty job of cutting her out with the torch oh yeah i mean the old propane that i got over there the old propane oxy setup it doesn't cut as fast as acetylene but i mean uh, it's just mint and you can buy it anywhere but when you run out of acetylene on a weekend you don't want your projects to go to so just run propane in there 1075 and hank hill will jerk off to it it'll be awesome i'm about to bust mint i'm gonna go ahead and save myself a little time here Ah, bring some of this Canadian water right into the fucking shop. Oh yeah, mint. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we got a fire suppression system too. Safety. Alrighty, so we got her dialed in here. The circle, uh, the circle's mint, but the torch job's not gonna be. So we're gonna have a wallered out mess again. But uh, that's gonna look fucking mint. I'm excited. Can't wait to rip all this to shit because I got way too much hydraulic power on it. Meat. All right, so we got that thing kind of half-ass dialed on there. We're gonna want to leave like at least a quarter inch of fiddle three room. All right, now we got that for half in there. We got her tight on this end. What for the uh, wallered out hole on the back side. So when you go pushing her against her, it'll uh, have some meat to grab onto. Got her half-ass spaced let's burn it in oh yeah that looks like i barely even have half buzz on and mint all right we're gonna have to burn the 
Everything's in right solid. We got our tack right now, but uh, I reckon she's looking pretty good. She's even got a little bit of slop in her. You know? You're gonna want to have a little slop. That is exactly what she said. All right, so this side was all spaced all up. Maybe it was set up for a different ram. They had a bunch of washers in there, but we're just gonna fucking leave her the way she is. Burn the fuck out of this thing. Throw the other ram in there. But uh, we do have one fucking issue, being that I didn't want to buy any bolts. What for? I didn't know how fucking far she was gonna space her. So I'm gonna have to turn this one inch round stock into a bolt. I don't have any fucking threading dies or any of that fucking shit for something that big. So we're gonna have to do the old uh, cut, weld, and then fiddle with the thread in the grinder and see how she turns out. But if you're wondering how that old kicking horse welder's doing, she's fing mint. I've uh, put a few hours on that fing pile of shit. She's still fing giving her. The wire feed one fing died though, so don't buy that. But the dirty old fing rod burner 500 here, she's fing mint. I'm gonna size this fing nugget. I can stick that fing thing sideways in my cornhole for fing creek and still have room for the tax man. Yeah, I'm gonna stick my whole fist up your ass. So I've been watching this guy on the old lube tube. His name is uh, I.C. Wells. And man, that f***ing guy can give it. All the talent I don't have to weld him, that f***ing Mr. Chip does. He's unreal. See, a lot of people will take a chipping hammer and they'll chip all that off and post pictures of it on the old f***ing Instagram. But guys like myself, we leave the f***ing shit on there. What for, uh, it's kind of like a really ugly chick with a bag over her head. You don't really have to worry about what it looks like if there's something fucking covering it. So, fucking mint. <laughs> All right. Well, now we just got to burn through about a half inch of hydraulic oil and paint there. And about the same thing on the other side. And the top will be done. You don't need to worry about the cheap Chinese fucking welding leads burning through and start welding on other spots you're not worried about welding on. That really woke a guy up. There, wrap a Toby tape, safe. Alrighty, so it looks pretty good. This side's all wampus and I gotta put a bunch of washers in there, but that side seems pretty good. So all I gotta do meow is make a bolt that goes through this thing. Now, I don't got a bolt that long. I don't even wanna know how much a bolt like that would be to cost. And a bolt like that probably cost you my remaining leg to buy. So what a fella's gonna do is just, uh, Go ahead and work with what he's got. I got some one inch bolts there. I, mean, I reckon I'm just gonna cut the ends off, weld them to this thing and uh, call her a day. All right, so meow, I need a bolt with the shank eight and a half inches long, what for having enough uh, room on this side for the lock nut and maybe enough this side for the uh, washer. And these bolts are six and a half. So I gotta add a few inches to this to make her mint. It'll still be grade eight. Alrighty, well since this is a giant pile of fiddler stuff, this one has to be eight and a half inches long. That one has to be nine inches long. So all I did is I cut out uh, two inches. Well, I chopped off two inches for sake. Just three inches out of that one. And uh, well, now I'm gonna take the bolts. Well, I already cut this one in half. Cut the other one in half. Take the edges down and uh, weld her up. Alrighty, well, meow, those have been hacked off by a fucking doll wannabe apprentice. Go ahead and just stick them in this dirty whore and uh, turn them down a little bit. Try to get that. And, uh, that edge nice and smooth. My boy was in here with this thing earlier. You don't need to worry about your seven year old son playing with a lathe. All right, my buddy Matt over at Diesel Creek and a fresh a couple of you fellas were messaging me asking why the f I'm using the 3A drive ratchet instead of this thing. Well, the problem is this guy doesn't fit. It came with the thing, but it just don't fit. So it fits in these guys, but not in these guys. So f it. Three ace drive ratchet. I got like a hundred of these anyway. Works fucking minty. All right, we got most of them things done. A few more to go. Start welding this fucker. All right, so in an attempt to make uh, Uncle Bumble f proud of a feller, instead of just uh, beating on a feller like a redheaded stepchild. God damn it, I don't know what it is about your face, but I want to deliver one of these right in your suck hole. What I'm gonna do here, Meow, is something uh, I'm kind of itching to do. I've seen it done once on the interweb. All right, so Meow, what I'm doing here, is I'm just turning this fucking little bolt down that I found in the dump. Now I'm just gonna take her down right to where the fuck I think it needs to be 
where she's the same size as this greasy old fucking drill bit. I'm probably gonna go way undersized on this cut, but that's just gonna be the fucking way she goes. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's probably gonna be too small, actually to tell you the truth now, but uh, don't worry, I got lots of bolts. And the old lady kind of pissed off today, so a day in the shop's probably best off anyway. Now as I stand here, looking at this machine doing all the work, kind of like how the old lady's gotta do her nowadays, I can't help but think that there's probably some professional at home just fucking flipping out on a fat ass guy. He knows what I'm doing. And he's just sitting there and he's just fucking yelling at the old cripple through the screen. But I can't hear you, bud. But if you throw her in the old fucking comment section, I'll probably be able to fucking see, uh, probably be able to see it. But uh, all the professionals at home know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So what I want you to do is put her in the old comment section. How the fuck do you do this properly? Cause uh, this can't be the way. This is way too complicated damn near eight mil and this is damn near nine mil so i gotta take a millimeter of shit off of there i'm not really good with all the thousands of an inch and all the rest of that fiddle pretty well on an engine or something maybe i would be but the old communist measurements are pretty good when it comes to uh working with the old lathe so i think mint throw her on cruise control and you can go get your tasty beverage you left over here mint I mean, safety first, don't drink and lathe. I always told the old lady, if she comes up to the shop and she hears a wet sloppy noise and the lathe running, that's me dead. If she just hears a wet sloppy noise. I said, don't disturb you, I'm cleaning my room. Don't look in here anyway. It's probably gonna be bad. You know, all this thousands of an inch and all the rest of this fiddle fuckery, I was supposed to learn this in high school. But instead of learning it in high school, I smoked a lot of weeds and done a lot of burnouts and drank a lot of beers. And instead of learning, I'm fucking stupid. So there's a life lesson in that for you fucking fuckers is uh, maybe listen to your teacher. Only if he's not a complete fucking space cadet because most of the teachers nowadays are just a bunch of libtarded kids that are in it for the fucking paycheck. But if you got a good shop teacher and the guy seems like he gives a fuck, give the poor guy the time of day sakes or else you end up like my fat ass already missed the bubble wouldn't mind if you looked away while i tightened up this chuck went for uh well i don't know where the fuck it went the key that is oh but two screwdrivers jammed in there together it really give you a real good bite on her and a that's good and safe all right now after all the fucking around i got her to look like so now all i gotta do is do that like fucking, uh one two three more times and then uh try to get these things together this is a disaster but i'm not gonna lie to you i'm having a good time so for all you minty pricks that actually kind of know what you're doing you might have went and got book learned oh there goes the fucking drill bit in for fuck's creek so for all you guys that are sitting at home watching this and uh you actually know what you're doing go ahead and leave a comment i'm fucking excited to see what you got to say i don't know what the fuck i'm doing but this is real fun learning like i was saying before but uh if you're one of them asshats that wants to leave a big long and comment about uh, this that and the other thing and uh well you can yell and scream and be as pithy pants as you want in the comment section bud but it's still not going to stop that heavily tan man from coming over while you're not home and stuffing the shit at your old lady so do what you want but it's not going to stop your old lady's piss from being like a half cooked grilled cheese sandwich the next time you come home from work it's not my fault man but just let the comment section have her all right so after everything i had in me for machining that's what i got so obviously I know if you were working in a shop, you probably wouldn't be building bolts. You'd probably just get some uh, whatever and thread it. Well, I wanted to try this out. I actually seen a video where it was just uh, some kind of feather that was in uh, some kind of country where uh, PPE and safety ain't worth fucking shit. And they were actually putting crankshafts back together. They would spin the fucker, drill it out, and tap in a pin and line her all up and fucking weld it. Well, I seen that while I was drinking beer. I'm like, oh, I could fucking do that. Clearly not with a crankshaft, but I uh, wanted to try that with a bolt. I don't know if Uncle Bumble could be uh, proud of a feather, but uh, he just beat me like a redheaded stepchild anyway for creek. But I'm gonna line that up best I can. Usually I would, if I'm building a longer bolt, I would just layer in a piece of angle iron, tack it, tack it, see if it's round and then weld or solid. But I'm gonna give this a go. We're gonna, we're gonna try. Probably gonna fail, but it's gonna be fun. Now, technically speaking, I shouldn't actually have to lay this thing in a piece of angle iron because the uh, inside dowel that I got there is probably supposed to be tight enough that it would hold everything together and make it mint, but uh, I clearly fucked up. Man, getting those tight tolerances is, uh, well, a lot more than my fat ass is used to. I can tell you that for fucking free. The vagina is a very, very expanding organ. 
All right, well, in order to give myself a snowball and chance of fucking hell to weld this thing up without it, like 8,000 fucking pounds of porosity boiling up through it, the brake cleaned it, and now we're gonna use the fucking MIG to dial her together. We're even gonna turn the gas on first, for fuck's sake. All right, so let's just, I'm gonna weld the head of the bolt to the handle iron here. Gonna hold that in there. Oh, the brake clean was definitely not uh, all flashed off yet, but that's fine. Brake clean. All right, so that's all held down. Let's weld her up. Thing on fire. All right, well, I'm gonna burn up the second one, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a C clamp this time. What for, uh, I welded the out of it before and it didn't want to come out of there. I saw brake clean burning. Brake clean, God. better if I wasn't on fire the whole time. But how did he get down to his underwear that fast? Please don't let the invisible fire burn my friend! I guess you're not supposed to soak your glove and brake clean before you weld. Well now we gotta strike while the iron's hot. This thing's still just f***ing giving her. Uh, and stick her in the f***ing vise and turn her down. That'll, that'll be fine. Figure if she cools down, she's gonna get a little hard. So we're gonna wanna get her, get her lathed. Let's see the run out on this. Oh yeah, that's not even that bad. Let's get the lathe in it. Hey, having this hot shit fly at you, it's hot. Pretty that is, eh? Good man. Well, that looks f***ing mint. Oh, it's probably gonna be really hot still. Oh, you guys missed it. I was just burning the f*** out of myself. Alrighty. Well, there you f***ing go. I don't, that's a nice looking bolt right there. That one's even nicer looking. F*** me hobbling. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to f***ing acknowledge. So, I don't know if Uncle Bumble f***ing be proud of something like this. I, I don't know. I got a one inch tap. I got everything I need to f***ing build these bolts or go buy these f***ing things. But, man, fiddle f***ing around on the old lathe well, that's a good time alrighty well the proof of the pussy's in the fucking let's see uh let's see what we got here mint all oh, that fiddle fucking around and uh that's what we get that's badass though it's gonna be mint you don't need to worry about how fucking sloppy it is i know how you skits like i'm sloppy yeah? i've been told that a time or two lady you're scaring us ah! All right, so let's throw some washers on these things. This one has to be shimmed up. I think I might actually make a shim for that. And then, uh, yeah. All righty, meow. We'll just uh, gently tighten the out of it here. Oh, yeah, that was good. Same thing on the base. Fucking done. Double the fucking hydraulics. I got to tighten that up because that thing's fucking looser than the prom date. Holy. All righty, meow. So we're just going to can rig up all these hydro lines. I don't know how the f I'm gonna do it so they don't get f up, but uh, it doesn't seem to matter what I do. Everything seems to get a little bit f up. You're god right. So we're just gonna give her and see what the f happens. Alrighty, I'm just gonna f dial this thing together. But uh, just have to say, big f shout outs to the broads that work at Resource. Resource is the uh, hydraulic shop that I f get all my sh 
from in town there. These fucking bra, I don't know, this one, always, I always forget their fucking names. Oh, AJ's old lady, the one I call her. And then uh, there's a bunch of other minty broads, but there's always this one that's fucking gives her. And she, she even shows all the fucking dudes in there what the fuck's going on. Them broads, fucking mint. Probably make one hell of a sandwich too for fuck's sakes. So I used to pull ranches at this uh, frack outfit in town there. And I had this fucking fracker come up to me the one day and he was lipping me off because uh, I was using the Kresge for and everything. He says, oh, I've been a mechanic for years and I'd never have a crescent wrench in my toolbox. And he says, then how the f*** are you supposed to round off all your hydraulic fittings? Like, what the f*** is your problem, bud? Some people's kids. Alrighty. Well, let's jump in the cab of this pile of f***ing sh*** and uh, see how she dials. Should be f***ing good. I don't see any interference problems and uh, that's, I don't know. We're going to see what happens. F*** it. I love it when I fucking fiddle fuck something and it actually comes together and it doesn't explode right out of the fucking gates. I mean, it's probably gonna explode sooner than later, but for right now, I'm fucking tickled pink. All right, so the next issue we got is the gummer. This is where we were talking about earlier. And no, not fucking Burt Gummer. This guy just meant this. Mm -hmm. So when I drive into the pile of the logs and try to grab one, this fucking thing is just a gummer. Like, she took its teeth out and started humdrumming on a guy's knob. Just grabbed onto the wood and that's it. Just fucking debarks it. I had a girlfriend named uh, debarks it, but anyhow. Actually, she had uh, one tooth left. Everybody called her organ grinder. But we gotta fucking put some teeth in it. I don't know if this is gonna be strong enough. This is just half inch flat bar. But I think I'm just gonna cut some fucking teeth in her. And then uh, once the teeth are in her, we're gonna go give her a try. See if it bends. If it bends, well, then I'll just weld a bunch more shit in there. Well, I reckon those teeth will be fucking fine. I really went, went all out with the uh, map and those out. So let's get the cutting and then uh, see if this fucking thing grabs onto some logs. She's got teeth meow. Now I know she's a bit of a crooked and hillbilly smile, but I mean it's got to match the operator, right? He got a little pretty mouth thing. Oh yeah, let's get a jab at some logs. Now the next thing I wanted to do, all right, when the thing clamps down, there's not a whole lot of room here. I'll go ahead and show you. So when the jaws are down, there's no room for a log in here. So what a, like, a guy would like to do is just cut into here, something like so, and then down across here. So you'll still have all kinds of strength there with this, but you'll also, I think I might go at a hard angle up and then into here. What for, uh, it'll be nice and steep. You'll be able to jam under a log, pinch it, and then back away. Meat. All right. Well, I torched the living fuck out of this thing. Like I said, the front lip, might be a little fucking weak, but I'm not that worried about it. This thing's just for fucking logs anyhow. And if it's really fucking weak, then I'll just go ahead and weld a bunch of plates in there. But I'm excited. Let's go fuck up some wood. I ain't gonna lie to ya. It looks way fucking beefier with them two rounds on there. Just fucking test that front lip a little bit. Oh, that front lip's gonna be just I was born with big gums, sir. All right, so before, you wouldn't have been able to grab on to sh where the shit, eh? Let's just see meow. That's a big fucking root, actually. Look at log. Holy Yeah, she's got way more balls now.
stop because the fucking, the it just didn't have enough room in the in the jaws to go ahead and grab it. So let's just see now. He's a hard worker, no argument about that, and he sweats a lot, sometimes too much. But if you watch him for a while, you'll see that all his efforts don't make him faster or more productive than anyone else. You'll also notice that his whole attitude is one of complete indifference to the safety of both himself and his workmates. <laughs> Packer heads and piss flops. Well, it's a little different than normal. Uh, you watch me beat on the old box rick shot off to the mountains here. Me ripping to the mountains here was a product of uh, heading down to go get a new fucking magic shoe. Wanted to take the back roads home, and you know it only added about four hours to the trip, but it was pretty good beating on her to the old mountains. But like normal, I'd just like to thank all the minty fuckers to uh, keep the freedom of speech fucking free here. I got uh, the ten buck fuckers. We got packs and chambers. Mike, me off, Jack. That reminds me of a joke. If your Uncle Jack helped you off a horse, are you going to help your Uncle Jack off a horse? He's going to be a nice guy, right? Uh, Jed Crow, David W. Richards, the third. My son is actually one of the thirds. Minty is f uh, Chris, Brian Teftiller. That's a badass last name. You know a guy with the last name f***ing Teftiller just smashes pissers. Alex, Denny, Keith, Moros and uh, Dylan John. We got 15 buckers. We got Thomas, Matthew, Eddie, Andrew. 20 buckers. Oh, I don't even fucking even know how to say this. Yais Larock. That's actually kind of a badass name if that's how you say it. Uh, Pork and Beans MT. I don't know what the f that noise was. Pork and Beans MT. Noah. Ivan Reek, Reeks, Rack, Frank Russell, Charles Dazelle. That's a that's a classy last fucking name. Brian Sutherland, my uh, my old boss at the old fucking frack shop I used to work at. Ty Sutherland, guy was a minty. Fuck. Bruce Duncan, uh, a sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents goes to Josh and Hundy fucking bucks. But you don't do this. Uh, Chuck Hendrick, Hundy fucking bucks. Thank you very much, man. And I reckon these are kind of better anyhow than me just staggering around the shop drinking beer. I'm sitting here drinking beer in a nice warm hunting shack rather than Terry Fox it around the shop. So this is, this is just a good way to do this. And you guys get to watch me beat the shit out of the old rickshaw. All right, well, these minty f***ing pricks are the guys that gave me a raise from uh, my last bid you till meow. We got Owen Smedley. Meb. We got uh, Owen Smebby at 30 odd f***ing six. Minty as f***. Uh, Matt McLeod, 2230. Cole Roschlitz. Bill Schumann, Thin Shoe 2, Chad Nicoletti, Dale Schultz, Jackson Cook, that old fucking white bear, Big Dick McGee, <laughs> David, Tanner Broom, Andrew McCready, Lee Later, The Dirt Tube, Tim 
Bill Gulliher, 1836. Matthew Timbrook. Matthew Timbrook. Bleen. Bleen again. Gave me two fucking raises. Bleen. Don't you have like fucking three of those or some fucking thing? I don't know. Colton Hobb. Tanner Marlowe. Cody Lee. Ray Turand. Jonathan Ellswick. John Bennett. Harley McGee. Josh, $69.69. I think that was actually a pay cut, but I mean $69.69. That's fucking man. Uh, Spencer Bozen. Bradley Cooper. Eric. And Brian Sutherland. I don't, that guy gave me a fucking thing, and then he gave me a raise. What a fucking mint prick. Anyhow, I appreciate all you minty fucks. Without you guys, I'd be up Shet Creek without the fucking paddle. And uh, some guy telling me that I got a pretty mouse. So thanks a fucking ton. But until next time, actually, uh, I just finished getting off the phone with a feller in uh, old Cowtown there. Well, it's a hole between Cowtown and fucking Dedmonton. And uh, he's got a minty old 7.3 Addy Eye. Bolt action, Slave Lake cousin. So I'm getting my fucking fat ass in gear here and head down there and have a little gander. But. Until next time, keep shitting out your fucking ass.